Who was that guy on your on your friend list who just like attacked me out of the sniper? He's like the sniper. He's like, and I'm like, you know what the fuck, man? <laughs> that was the Tukin Magazine guy. Oh really? Why is he so like you know insecure and nervous? You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm like, wow, dude, take a chill. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I guess he wasn't a huge fan. <laughs> I asked that's a simple just, question. That's just what I was sensing. But he was just raring to go. And he just I started like getting all personal. I don't even know this guy from Adams. You know what I mean? He's been watching our tour. I know, but I don't know him from Adams. He's getting, he's making like personal things, you know, you know. And I, I got, I got a photo of me and my nephew. <laughs> are you gay? Are you gay? You know, <laughs> like you know, settle down, dude. You know, check your panties. So, do you have a opinion on the prop eight? Depends ruling? how many people are in the room. Do we have enough to provide? Wait, do we have a minion? Let me see if we have a minion. Let's see. In some of the we've got a reform minion. Do we? we oh well, hey, that's good enough for me. We got six. We got six. We got yeah. Bernadette. Hi, Bernadette. And we got Bubba Messia. Hey, Bubba. Don't worry, I'll take care of the chat room. You okay, take you take care of the, of the chat room. Um, do I have an opinion on Prop 8? Yeah. I gave my opinion last week, really. Did you? Yeah, I said that I'm for it. I'm very pro for it. Okay, so no but, more. But, you know, it was interesting. I didn't know. I don't keep up with current events so well. You know, and when right. we were talking last Monday night, Yeah. I said I'm, I'm pro... Uh, I brought it up like it was this thing from two years ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, like, the next day, it came up again because... It got overturned by some judge. Right, right. You know, and I mean, let's let's be honest. Who is this judge? It's, okay, it's, okay, it, it's a, it, there's only two. It, I, this is what I read. There's only two self-described gay. You mm -hmm. know, that's not a Torah term. I don't like using right. the word gay because there's no right. such thing. And he describes himself as gay. He's one of two federal judges, maybe three now with Kagan. I don't know. Right. And um, and, and and this guy should have recused himself. Yeah. You know what that means? Yeah. Good, because I don't. Recuse <laughs> means someone else should handle this case. He should have handled it because this guy has something to gain from it. He's he's biased. Yeah. You know, it's a conflict of interest because, you know, theoretically, if if he makes it, if he overturns it, he can get married. But why is it any more conflict of interest than a heterosexual? Because we don't really have anything to to gain by it either way. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, it it you might vote for it. Yeah. But what do you really have to gain personally? You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. It's like a nice thing to have, but I mean, it's like this guy actually could get married and have his, you know, his his partner or whatever is going to get into his health insurance. I don't know what. I don't know. But this guy actually has a finance. He has something, that, you know, that he should have recused himself. Anyways, I was looking over. I I read this. I posted on my uh, on Facebook. There's a, there was an article I read in the Wall Street Journal. Mm -hmm. Did you read it? Mm, maybe. But they gave an opinion about. They read his 136 page. Uh, ruling, mm -hmm. and they gave an opinion, and their lawyers gave an opinion, and they said two, two main points can easily be overturned. One is that he talked about how uh, it, it denied them, you know, uh, uh, equal, 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 yeah, equal, whatever you call it, equal protection or whatever, yeah. but um, that it's, it's not, because here's the problem. They're not denied something that, that we have. Yeah, they can get married. They're allowed to get married. So they want something that we can't have. Yeah. I can't marry somebody of the same gender. Right. So they want to be able to have something that I can't have. Right. I mean, you, like, you could get married. You're not going to get married anyway, so you might as well marry a man. It doesn't mean you're going to have sex, but you might just want to do it for health insurance purposes. Right, like right. Marry your buddy. Right. I can't do that. So right. they want to have something that, so the, the, con the Constitution doesn't protect that. It doesn't protect people to have rights that other people don't have. Right. So, oh, you... So that, 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 that's going to be a long void. The other one is due process. And due process is based on this, um, like, the 14th Amendment. There's, an, uh, there's, one of those. there's a clause in it. Yeah. And it's like, you know, if, uh, if for, 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 for certain, like, minority groups or whatever, right. you know. Um, but the thing is that it, it's not really a minority group to, to self-identify as gay. Because... This is where it comes back to Torah is beautiful in this. Mm -hmm. Everybody is bisexual. There's no, you can't just create a, um, a, your own minority group. Right. You know, I'm the minority group of people who are kleptomaniacs. Right. 
You know, we want equal protection under right. the law. Right. You know, you, you can't yeah. just create, you know, and uh, you, you, you can't discriminate against these yeah. people. You can't say, I'm not going to hire you, right? And I believe in that. Yeah. That's a civil right, you know. I'm not going to hire you because of your sexual, sexual preference. That's wrong, right? Would you agree with that? To say, I'm not going to hire you to, like, run my computer system because you prefer to be... I'm a libertarian in that respect. I don't have a problem if people don't want to hire gays. Okay. Really? Yeah. Just because of the person... Like the gays could go out and form their own computer companies. Or if someone doesn't want to hire blacks or doesn't want to hire Jews, fine. Then hire them. Like, I think people should should have the ride and they may want to create a certain type of workspace. I don't like, think that's libertarian. I think that's the opposite of libertarian. Because libertarian is, I don't care what goes on in your bedroom. That's not my business. Well, it gives the employers liberty to hire who they want. I think people should be able to hire who they want. If they don't want to hire a Jew or a homosexual or a black person, I say let them create okay, so whatever then, workplace they want. So then like the Civil Rights Act, you'd be against? I am. You're against the Civil Rights Act? Yeah. Okay. At least you're consistent. Yeah, I'm against government intervention and who you can hire and who you can rent to. I, I actually heard a, a, a major politician come out and say that this year. The first time I've ever heard yeah, someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what's Rand his name? Paul's Rand son. Paul. Ron oh, yeah, Paul's yeah, son, yeah, Rand. Yeah, yeah. He actually came out and said yeah. he wants to repeal the Civil Rights Act. Yeah. And I'd never yeah. heard anybody say that. Yeah. So I thought, wow, that's news. It's a little different. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it may be, it may be ugly. Like, it, it sounds very ugly. Like, if people. But I, I don't think I want the government stepping well, in there. Like if a major corporation stopped hiring Jews, or even a small right. corporation, Jews would go protest, and I think that would be legitimate. And if uh, a business refused to hire homosexuals or black people or or Koreans, then people could go protest. But I, I think in some places, like uh, I'm thinking, like a Korean small Korean grocery store, they just want to hire. Maybe they just want to hire Koreans or. Like in some workplaces, they need to create a homogeneous situation, and for me, liberty is more important than uh, than competing values in this case. Okay, well, you're you're consistent, you know. Uh, then then fine. Uh, so circle back to what I was saying before. Mm -hmm. I don't have a pro. You know, I'm looking at it. It's all, it's all, the fact of the matter is, you know, mm -hmm. after the fact. The fact is that there's like these civil rights, and there's like like seven things you can't discriminate based on. And right. I think well, sexual preference is one right. of them. And I, I don't have a problem with that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you can't discriminate against. That's one thing. But do they, should they, are they a group that they can't be, that has to, we have to, like, you know, protect them in every area? And I say they're not. Mm -hmm. I say they're not. And we're going to find out when it gets to the Supreme Court. My gut tells me up, uh, Prop 8 as is is going to be upheld in the yeah, Supreme Court. Yeah, I guess Court. it depends on Kennedy. It's, it's Kennedy is going to be the swing vote. Anthony that Kennedy, but that, he's going to be the swing vote, and yeah. whichever way he goes, it's going to go. But I've got a thing like this with him. I am told that when a push comes to shove, he votes along Catholic doctrine. Hmm. And there is no way the Catholic Church is going to stomach, yeah. you know, they, they won't, they're not even going to toy with the idea of uh, same-sex marriage. Yeah. So I think it's done. I think this thing is going to be, uh, at Prop 8 is going to be upheld. That's my opinion. What do you think of about a mosque on Ground Zero? I think it's terrible. Why? Okay, I'll tell you why. Uh, the, in the, in historically, historically, this is my reason. Historically, whenever uh, Muslims win a major battle, yeah, a major victory battle, they declare victory, and they commemorate the battle that they've won militarily. By building a mosque there. Yeah. That's why the mosque is sitting in Jerusalem on the... Did we learn our lesson then? I mean, is there anything more ridiculous than going to the Kosel and you're seeing, like, you know, the Muslim mosque is sitting there? I mean, like, come on. Is that a disgrace? Is that a disgrace to see that? You know, in the middle of, of, of the Kosel, right? They put it right on our Holy of Holies, you know, the Kadokan Ocean. You know, okay, so... So this is what they've done. They have one in Constantinople. They have one in, uh, I forget where they put it. But everywhere they made a major military... They, they, they particularly like to build them on all the people's holy sites. Yeah, they like to put them right where they win a major battle. Okay? They won a major battle. Yeah. You know, and it went from WTC, right? Yeah. And now it's a WTF. Yeah. I mean, like, what is going on here? Ten years later, they're going to build a mosque 